Hey guys, what's up? It's Claire here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because earlier this spring I was putting out these videos like every single month of my current favorites and then it's been a few months because I've been really busy if you've been kind of keeping up with me but um, we're back into the swing of things today. So today is going to be my current favorite things. Um, I believe I have about 12 items. It's random stuff. It ranges from like beauty to makeup to just lifestyle things. It's like really random objects and and device not devices but like things that I use um, pretty much on a daily weekly or yeah daily or weekly basis not monthly um, so these are products that I've just been really loving lately and I really wanted to share with you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started and make sure to subscribe um, I post new videos a lot like two to three times a week and I would love to hear your feedback and hear what you want to see next on my channel so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started Sorry if my shirt like comes up like this. It's supposed to be like the kind that stay down here, but it's not acting right today. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is a face wash that I've been loving lately. Um, none of this is sponsored, by the way, but this is something I genuinely have been loving. I got this from Ulta. It is the Formula 10.0.6. Um, best face for daily foaming cleanser I have super oily skin um, and this is just one of those things that gets all the oil and dirt out of your skin without leaving you dry um, it's really soft on the skin but also very effective um, I break out really easily if I do any kind of new product to my face so this is something that is just it feels clean it's a really good skincare item um, 10 out of 10 recommend my freshman year roommate who's actually my roommate again now but she had this my freshman year we shared a bathroom and I used to kind of like use it sometimes because I loved it um and so I was like let me just buy it myself got this from Ulta so I'm pretty sure they have it in other like drugstores and stuff too but yeah I got this one from Ulta and it's really really great now while we're on the topic of skincare the next thing I want to share with you um are the Biore nose and face deep deep pore, deep cleansing pore strips um so I used this like a week ago and it didn't work um and I was like what in the world because I saw Laura Lee posted a video where she did it and then my friend Jessica she was like look what this did to my nose and she sent like a picture and it was like took everything out um and I was like I want that because I have blackheads so so bad like like all in my t-zone and I was like this is nose and face it'll work well I did it and it didn't work the first time but you're supposed to wet your face first and like the first time I did like one little drop of water and thought it was gonna work no you have to like soak your face and that's what makes it like latch onto it and it just like pulls everything out like I did it last night and that's why I'm kind of like broken out right now because it really took a lot out of my skin um and so yeah it just really removes like all the blackheads and the dirt like it's like what you want it to be like when you have the blackhead mask and you get to watch like all the like peel it off and then see all the little dots all over it that's what this does so I got this from Kroger I believe they have this like Walgreens Target CVS any kind of like drugstore it actually works and I got it out of my chin and then also my forehead so it just like ripped it off not ripped it out like it didn't hurt it was just like those satisfying little things and it was like oh I love that next time is a little bit different so if you've watched my channel my hair this is like my natural hair like I have never really dyed it never well I've highlighted it in like eighth grade and it was just not a good thing but I've never actually dyed my hair um, and I don't really use a lot of hair products like it's naturally straight but I went to get a haircut just to get the ends trimmed a couple weeks ago and my hairstylist put this stuff in my hair and I was like that smells so good and she was like you have like at the ends of your hair you know how it can get like kind of thick and like tangly this is like a hair lotion so basically you just work it through towel dried hair and style as usual so you can I, I've been putting it on like kind of dry hair um so you just kind of put, pump a little bit of it and then run it through the ends of your hair and it keeps it from getting like tangly so it's called the KMS tame frizz soothing lotion um so yeah it just kind of prevents like the edges from like getting all tangly and keeping them from getting like frizzy at the end you know how they get like sometimes um but this is it I got it from a hair salon if I can find it online I will link it down below or if you want to like just screenshot this it's so good it smells so good like first of all like I got it for the smell but then I was like my hair feels so soft and just smooth and I just put a little bit on the ends of my hair every day and so yeah it, it's really awesome next up I'm gonna talk about some makeup products that I really have just been loving lately um, I think I have four like really just essential things um, that you've been probably seeing in a lot of my makeup tutorials but I wanted to give them like a special shout out in my current favorites of everything um, so the first thing is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder um, you know I love the Laura Mercier setting translucent setting powder um, but this stuff is just it's so smooth it's very similar to that but it just kind of just makes it where it's not as matte I feel like the Laura Mercier really mattifies the skin but right now I have like a dewy look going on um, and so it's not thin it's not cakey it doesn't leave flashback it's just 
so so good it's a little bit more pricey but it is like such a high quality item that um, it's something that will last me like several several months and like the Laura Mercier it lasted me from October until now and so I just wanted to change some things up and you've heard me rave about this on here before probably um, but yeah I wanted to give it its own little special shout out and next up is some foundation that I've been loving it's the Lancome tint idol ultra wear up to 24 hour wear and cover transfer resistant foundation and this is in the shade 260 um so it's a little bit more of a dewy foundation it's medium coverage medium to full you can really layer it without it getting cakey so you put like one layer all over your face i like to use a beauty sponge dampened um and it just kind of makes it look like flawless skin and it really is not a matte foundation it's not overly dewy but you can definitely make it dewy with um some dewy like boosting products if that makes sense um so yeah it just kind of makes your skin look like flawless and um i really like the way it just melts into the skin and doesn't again like it doesn't make you look cakey it doesn't really run off in certain areas throughout the day it's very even um the shade is a little bit dark for me i probably would have gone one shade lighter but i had a like a spray tan when i got it picked for me um so yeah if you're looking for like a dewy long lasting summer foundation that doesn't leave you cakey and isn't matte this is the move and something that i also have been loving to make my skin look flawless lately along with the powder and that foundation the third thing that adds to the combo that really just sets it off the top is this hourglass ambient lighting palette so this one's a little bit more pricey you can buy these in singles but i got the one the trio so this comes in the shade dim light incandescent light and radiant light um you've probably heard Jaclyn Hill talk about this it's so good I have it on my face right now so I don't know if you can tell I've had quite of a bit of a long day but it just kind of makes you have like look like you have a filter on your face so it's not like a highlight it's like a end like a powder that you just um put on like I put it on my entire face today just to kind of give me like a glow like it gives you like a goddessy glow without looking like you have highlight on your face so I still put highlighter on like my cheekbones but I just use this to make me look like radiant like you have just a dewy angelic glow I'm not calling myself a dewy angel but by any means but it just kind of leaves you feeling that way and it also doesn't like you know ruin your skin it kind of just sets the makeup that you have on already and just really melts into it and um it is a little bit pricey as well like all three of those products are pretty pricey but those are things that kind of last you for like a really long time so i will typically spend more money on face products just because like i know they can last me several months and i'm not gonna have to keep repeating buying them um and i wear makeup all the time and so it's just like it's a good thing and um the last makeup product i really want to talk about is the lancome monsieur big mascara i'm wearing this mascara on my eyes right now i've been getting so many compliments about my mascara lately and so basically all i do is curl my lashes sometimes i'll put the l'oreal um primer on there and then put this on but right now i just have this mascara i don't know you can tell it's a little clumpy right now just because i put like two layers on and then i messed up so that was on me but i've been wearing this like every day lately ignore this little breakout guy right here but yeah so it just really just makes you feel like you have full voluminous lashes and normally it doesn't get cakey it's just a little cakey in this area right here but that was my fault um so yeah i've been wearing this mascara all the time lately i had the mini one first and then i went in the store and i was like give me the big one i love it and um it's like 25 dollars but mascara is something that can last you like a couple months you know and it just it's it's worth it um i would like to compare it to like the better than sex by Too faced mascara um they're both even like equally great but the wand on this one i like a little bit better because it kind of it's not as clumpy ish which i don't mind like a clumpy wand if that makes sense but 10 out of 10 recommend so this little makeup situation has been like my go-to glam get ready stuff lately and i'm obsessed with this little routine that i have developed next up i want to give a little bit of a shout out to some jewelry so i love gold i love hoops as you can tell i have three hoops in each ear right now um these little ones i wasn't really going to give them a shout out but i am now because they're amazing um, I can sleep in these and they don't hurt. They're from the store Altered State, the boutique. Um, I got these in Nashville when I stopped by because um, I really just wanted some simple gold hoops. I bought some from Claire's and then they ended up being the worst. They wouldn't even go in my ear. I've really been loving like the three little hoop combo and I just put these big ones in today but I've been wearing these. So I got these from Target. It's a three pack so I've been wearing the big ones and then the tiny ones. Um, so the, these are only six dollars from the brand Wild Fable. This is the medium size but then I also it comes with the bigger hoop like this size and then the tiny hoop that are like this size and I've been wearing the tiny hoop the most so you get 
three sizes for six dollars so that's like two dollars a pair and sorry i didn't want to put them back in there because i'm probably going to wear these in a little bit um but yeah so these three sizes two dollars are basically a pair um and they don't really rust one thing i will say about target is they have like really good earrings like these big hoops come from target i get new packs of these all the time they come in like three sizes these are like the biggest hoops i own um but i get them all the time because i'll lose them and then i also like to have some to travel with and then some that i just keep in my jewelry box for backup um that's how serious i am about my hoop earrings um but yeah, so I just wanted to give the Wild Fable earrings a shout out. Um, so they're super cheap and they don't hurt your ears. Unless you have super sensitive ears, I do sometimes have sensitive ears, but they don't hurt me at all, like they haven't yet. So shout out to that. Another little thing I wanna talk about are anklets. So, um, when I was growing up, like back in elementary school, I used to think that if you wore an anklet that you were just the coolest girl ever. And I was ne I never really had an anklet, but when I was in altered state, like I was talking about these earrings, um, I'll try to find it and link it down below. I got this simple gold anklet and it's just got a cross on it. And this isn't like one of those like hookah shell, you know, hookah shell. What are they called? Puka? Hookah? Hookah? I think it's a puka shell sorry I don't know words um, but yeah so this is just a simple little gold anklet and I just think it looks really cute with sandals and you can wear this like with sandals or like I've been wearing them with my Nike Air Force ones just to kind of add a little something else I'm actually gonna put that on right now um, but yeah when I was growing up the older girls like where I went to school and they would wear anklets I just thought that they were like so cool and i used to want an anklet and then toe rings i'm kind of over the toe ring desire but the anklet thing i'm really really happy i'm gonna bring that back next up i want to talk about some nail polish i don't have this on now i actually got my nails done but if you're looking for a fun summer nail polish um that you could like i don't know it's just a really good color so i actually have talked about this on here before i think but back in high school i used to always get my nails done and when i would go um i didn't really get gel i didn't really get um dip i just got regular paint because that was like what you did back in the day pretty much um and i used to always be drawn to this color no matter where i went and then i was at ulta looking for a nail polish to buy to paint my toes um and then i picked this up and i was like that's the same name as the color i got in high school and it's this one by opi and it's called cajun shrimp so it has a unique name that you can easily remember um i might have actually talked about this in another one of my favorites videos but my toenails were painted this color for like forever and i just think this is a good color because it's like is it pink is it orange is it red i don't know it's like a shrimp color um and so it's really really pretty i think it's so fun for like the beach for summer and so i pretty much always have my toes done this color right now my toes are white but um when i'm painting my toes myself this is like my go-to and like i'm really not good with painting my nails but um if i need to this is like what i have this is like my go-to nail polish color i think it's so fun it looks good on like any skin tone pretty much it's bright it's fun it's festive okay um i think y'all just probably saw this in the back sorry my sleeves keep coming up it's really annoying um but this is something Mm, I want to talk about so this is my candle that I made at the candle lab when I was in Columbus I don't know if candle labs are like a chain. I know they have a couple in Columbus um, But basically it's a place where you can go and you can make your own candle um, I'm pretty sure they have a website as well where you can order candles um, but this one is just divine honestly if i'm being real um i know they have other places i think they have one in atlanta where you can do something similar like make your own candle this one you also get to name it i named mine christmas and summer um because i love christmas candles and this one smells like a christmas candle so i think i did christmas tree um balsam fur something like that and then whipped cream and i know you're thinking whipped cream what in the world kind of has like a vanilla hint to it but um i just wanted to talk about this place because if you're ever in columbus ohio you need to go and you need to do that combination so what had happened was um I, you get to mix them all together however much you want but i did it perfectly to where it was a little bit more christmasy but then like as soon as i was turning it into the girl i spilt the scents all over the table and had to redo it and i accidentally put too much whipped cream in it the second time so this one is a little bit more whipped creamy than um Christmassy, but I love it. Like I've grown to become just obsessed with it. Like I've already used a lot of it. I light this pretty much every night. It's been lit in my room all day today. And um yeah, so basically I'm gonna see if you can order a whipped cream candle online from them. And if so, you need to buy it because it smells so so good. Like I 10 out of 10 recommend. I love it. It's just it's not like too vanilla y, not too sweet. But it smells just so cozy. Like I love it. I just wanted to talk about it. So 
this genuinely is my favorite thing at the moment. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about, I'm actually going to be doing a separate video where I talk about all of my current, my perfume collection pretty much. I actually got asked to do that. Um, I love perfumes. I love scents. I love candles. I love things that smell good. Um, even though I do have like a lot of allergies and like a lot of things make me sneeze and just, you know, are too much. I love, um perfume so much like I love and I've been really working on getting like a signature scent um I have so many that I choose from every day that I'm not really there yet because I like too many things but currently one of my go-to's right now is the Victoria's Secret Tees Rebel um I got this at the beauty event that they had this year um but then I also got the chance to go to the sample sale which y'all have seen so many videos of my channel on my channel um where I went to the sample sale like the haul but I didn't put the perfume in there because I'm going to do a separate video of all the perfumes that I have um but yeah so you paid ten dollars and you got this bag of like all these full-size perfumes and stuff and so I think I have like two or three of these right now but it just smells so good like it's like a nighttime smell but it can also be a daytime smell and you know it's not like too fruity it's not too serious not too musky um but yeah tease rebel from Victoria's Secret 10 out of 10 recommend if you're wanting to smell it smells like a lady you know but also kind of girly and feminine and like not too sweet but not too like florally like I just it's, it's so good like I, I love it I just wanted to talk about it last thing I really want to talk about today is something that's super exciting um so a company called Hope Fuel reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to like be sent a planner from them and y'all know I have a planner and like or talk about like Google Calendar Google Calendar I've talked about my other planners that I have on here like so many times like I'm just obsessed with like being organized in that way even though like my room can be chaos and a mess but as long as my planner is good I'm good to go um so they sent me this planner it's called the Hope Planner and it's by the company Hope Fuel H-O-P-E-F-U-E-L I will link their Instagram down below um and if you saw my Instagram recently you saw like I did a little story on it in a post so it's like a Christian planner and it's so so cool so it kind of helps you it helps you with like getting on track with like doing daily devotions and reading your Bible daily and just really digging into the word every day and um praying and all of that good stuff that I love and value that I know I slack on um like I don't read my Bible every day but I feel like this is something that's going to kind of get me motivated to want to because you get to like write down like the verse of the day and stuff so in the beginning of the um planner it kind of gives you a little layout um, a little sample of how to do it so um you can write down like so it has like a devotion and you can write down like the scripture of the day and then you get to write down like a little prayer and then you have like a to-do list um, and then it also has like it's not like just like a worship planner It's also like a real life planner where it can like help you schedule out by the hour and y'all know how I am About the hourly thing. I love that because I literally track everything I do hour by hour as a little to-do area and like that's not really That's not all it has um like a month layout as well And so and then it has like the daily for the week and stuff So yeah, it's just a really cool thing where you can like write down prayers You can write down like your praises in Thanksgiving um, and also just stay organized and it's a six-month planner It's $34. I'll link it down below like I'm not getting paid to talk about this um, I just think it's such a cool thing like I'm starting July and I'm gonna try and use it every single day Not only to stay organized for me, but also to kind of just stay organized with um praise and worship and um really just reading my bible because that's a goal that i have for 2019 and i really did fail like i really want to get a new bible too um as well that's something i need to put on my to-do list in my planner is to buy a new bible so guys i know that was like pretty quick and pretty like just random stuff it's just stuff like i really wanted to talk about um i think that was like 12 or 13 11 items i'm not even really sure um because i was like i want to do i have so many things that i've been loving lately but i want to divide it up um so i can keep them coming and so yeah that's pretty much all i have for you today in this video um i hope you enjoy give it a thumbs up if you did like it let me know what else you want to see what are your favorite things what are like some lifestyle beauty makeup Makeup products whatever what are things that you like currently can't live without because I love trying out different things that people use um I'll take it like really seriously like I really do want to try out some new things like lifestyle I'm always into you know the beauty and makeup new stuff so yeah leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite things are right now and yeah thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I will see y'all in my next one and stay blessed wherever you are bye Mwah.